Classroom Sessions. If you want some milk but don't want animals to bleed, then bless our mother's udders and just milk yourself a seed. All you need's a blender, strainer, water, seed and jug. And 30 seconds later you will have a creamy mug of hen milk. It's such a lovely day, and I've just made myself some milk in such a lovely way. Hen milk, you really can't complain. Just blend them seeds with water and give it all a strain. Hen milk is really good for you. Pour it on your cereal or have it in your brew. Hen milk, the healthiest around, the greatest source of protein that humans ever found. supporting our work thank you if you'd like to become a patron of this channel then check out the link below and if you enjoyed today's song then please feel free to pop a quid in our virtual hearts really appreciate that guys by the paypal link below yeah so today's song is called the hemp milk song and it, i wrote it many moons ago inspired by the wonderful hemp plant and all the learning we've been doing we run a hemp redemption festival that is uh, educating people hemp yeah. is cannabis cannabis is hemp yeah. and the um cannabis hemp has been demonized throughout history because it really is a biodegradable alternative to all petrochemical industries and uh, it's a biodegradable alternative to plastic to oil to paper to textiles to all of the major industries in our world today it is and uh, the song itself is about the milk and uh, how to make it so hopefully you learned something today from that song yeah. uh, but it also it brings about the notion that hemp is a direct competitor to industries as Katie says and uh, and in this particular song hemp milk is a direct competitor to cow's milk it's actually much healthier than cow's milk it's much better for the planet to grow hemp instead of farming cattle uh, and it's far more ethical the most important point is that cows are suffering for their milk they have to be artificially inseminated it's a, just an atrocious industry and yet we could be farming the beautiful cannabis plant and getting so many other elements and uh, aspects of what we need for society from it as well as hemp milk the Support glorious local hemp, milk. hemp farmers yeah yeah like alex says not only would we be taking the seeds from the plants to make our milks and other food products but then you'd be left with the fiber which creates incredible clothing and textiles yeah. and paper and all sorts of amazing products. Too much to list. Yeah, come yeah. to our Hemp Redemption Festival to yeah. learn more about that. We're definitely hosting it again this year. We cannot stop the magnificence of the Hemp Redemption. Yeah. Hemp education manifesting itself in this dimension. We're bringing together the hemp movement, which is to do with the textiles and the technology and the cannabis movement, which is the legalization and the wonderful oils that are healing people's cancers and tumors. The medicine. And the yeah. right to be medicinal with it and spiritual and recreational yeah. as well. Hemp, All coming together yeah. at Hemp Redemption Festival. Yes. Yes. Uh, hemp cannabis is an ancient herb and everyone should have the right to grow their own herbs in their garden. Shout out to Hemp and Co-op in Oxfordshire in the UK who've taught us so much. They came to our first Hemp Redemption Festival in 2020 yeah. and they were teaching us all. And also shout out to Callie Blackwell who yeah. taught us so much as well last year at our festival. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're just... Shout we're... out to Free Cannabis. Yeah, shout our out to our patron, patron, Free Cannabis, who yeah. runs Hemp in Avalon in Glastonbury. A shout out to Hemp Holistics, our Hemp beautiful Holistics. friends. They also came to our yeah, festival. Yeah, shout out to so many and beautiful so beings. Many, sorry if, for in fact, if you check our website, mobysloop.co.uk, there's a page on there called Hemp Redemption, and you can see hundreds of patrons on yeah. there that helped us build this. Build the stage. The Hemp Redemption stage. Yeah. Shout out to vegan tattoo artists. Yes, we love you, Mel. Thank you for painting our beautiful hemp goddess. We love you. So, which is a take on the, the green 
green man, but we've um, reinvented the green man as a hemp goddess yeah. inspired by the goddess Margu. We will um, it, hopefully in the future do a video um, demonstrating how to make hemp milk. We also yeah. show people how to make it at our festival. It's so simple. You literally just blend hemp seeds with water as the song shows, but it's really tasty and delicious and super good for you. As Alex says, it's got every single amino acid in it. It's got magnesium, iron, calcium. It's full of goodness. Omega-3, 6 yeah. and 9 in a perfect yeah. balance. It's just such a super magnificent, wonderful drink mm. for us all to drink. And especially as adults, we don't need to drink the milk of our mothers anymore. Yeah. We're not babies. So we can drink the milk from the glorious cannabis, from yeah. the glorious hemp. And we launched Hemp Redemption Festival to really uh, embrace learning more about this wonderful plant. We ran it as a little event in the beautiful Planet Cafe in Preston. Yeah. Hemp Redemption Sundays, little jam with all our community there. Uh, with Mobius Loop and um, yeah we what we found was over the years we're meeting people with so much wisdom and knowledge that we thought we need to have a festival for hemp every year um, and bring together the hemp cannabis scenes and just learn from each other and we're very much inspired by Hemp Fest yeah. Our, uh, our beautiful friend Chloe Forfit, who wrote uh, Elkie the Hemp Fairy, yeah, a book that book. you can check out. She inspired us to do this with her festival in Glastonbury. And um, yeah, we just we feel really blessed and also galvanized to carry out this mission mm -hmm. on behalf of this plant that has seen so many people fined, imprisoned, shamed, uh, lose their business. Like anyone who's working with hemp, yeah. cannabis, you know, it's, like, it's quite ridiculous it's, it's how, in, it's, how yeah. it seems that it really does seem like a conspiracy because like we say it's a direct competitor to the major industries in our world today it was made illegal it was criminalized because of that uh, mm. because it literally is a biodegradable yeah. alternative yeah and um, yeah it's been so suppressed that people have been in prison for growing this plant also ironic that the drug minister of the UK um, her husband happens to be growing one of the largest legal cannabis farms in the UK mm -hmm. and exporting it all across the world for medicinal yeah. purposes Purposes, but the citizens of the UK are not allowed that benefit you know no. there's, there's pharmaceutical companies now who are allowed to use cannabis in their products yeah. um, but because they're able to patent it and make a profit off it yeah uh, it's just absolutely uh, quite appalling when you yeah. look at the history of how cannabis has been suppressed yeah. has to change last year at Hemp Redemption Festival 2020 we had the stage set up and brilliant. there was beautiful music and educational weekend alcohol free and um, family friendly children yeah. we need to teach the children about hemp we, we had do. children planting hemp seeds we had children yep. making hemp milk crops not had, shops crops not shout shops. out we love, you guys. We love you guys we even had children um enter a fancy dress competition and uh that one of the children dressed themselves in a carton of hemp milk it was so wonderful <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it was so great. beautiful yeah and such a, a a proof that hemp yeah. cannabis is a is is such an amazing plant we it need is. to relearn the history and the many infinite uses of yeah. this incredible plant and we feel honored to be a part of this movement yeah. this plant cannabis hemp seems to have, have just been demonized all over the globe yeah. Yeah, alongside made, the, yeah. the colonialism. It's been made illegal all over the world. Everywhere yeah. that the British Empire seems to step, yeah. there seems to be a demonization. And yet of this they plant. got to these foreign countries using hemp as ropes and as the sails and as yeah. the paper they signed Magna Carta on and all this. Yeah. And then once they've uh, stolen the land and all the relics and put them in their British museums and whatnot and enslaved everyone, then they boom go and demonize this cannabis plant yeah. because the dawn of the petrochemical industry and, mm -hmm. and all these other industries yeah. that hemp would have basically prevented the profit margins. Everything that's made of plastic can be made of hemp it can. plastic. Biodegradable. And hemp plastic, you can dump it in the ocean all you want, it'll just <laughs> biodegrade. Turtles become, will play with it. Part of the environment mm. again. These petrochemical plastics that they're polluting our earth with, that is mm. destroying the habitats and environments of so many creatures yeah. is absolutely criminal. They want to lock people up for growing this plant. It's criminal what it they're criminal. doing with petrochemical plastics. How dare they? The, the oils, the the um, the plastic clothes that they're making, yeah. that the, the landfills are filling up with. Yeah. All of it could be made of hemp. It, it could. could be biodegrading back yeah. into the environment, back into the earth. And we really want to celebrate and redeem the reputation of this magnificent plant. Yeah. So blend yourself up a nice cup of hemp milk <laughs> and join us hopefully for Hemp Redemption 2021 one. We hope yes. to see you there, guys. It's going ahead. Join the hemp revolution. Have... Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into yeah. our video today, guys. If you enjoyed our song, please feel free to pop a donation into our magic hat via the link below. And also, thank you so much for our amazing patrons for making these we videos possible. We love you possible. all. We love thank you, you guys. And we'll see you for our next grassroots mm -hmm. session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's stood up, stood up. Should we stand either side? No, no, close, 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 close.
But our heads won't be in it. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, because all of it was in, wasn't it? Grassroots Sessions is made possible by our wonderful patrons who support us on Patreon. Thank you so much to all of you beautiful beings. Please join our Patreon today to help us create more videos. Donations are also very welcome here.